Alright guys, what's up? Uh, just wanted to give you a quick uh, DIY uh, do-it-yourself um, video, basically, on how you uh, install a new fill valve for the toilet. Um, excuse the bathroom, I mean, it's like water all patched up and there's a lot of work going on around here. I'm doing it, of course. Okay. Um, so I already installed it because I'm kind of pressed on time as usual. Uh, so I, I kind of wanted just to do everything first and then show you later. Now is later, so I'll show you now. You got it. All right. So here's the here's the new fill valve right here. Okay, and of course you put it. Um, and you gotta set that to make sure it stops at you know most of these these tubes here says water line. And normally it'll stop. Uh, if not, of course, you use the screwdriver, Phillips head. You just turn this, adjust it, adjust this. Alright, so first things first. I'll tell you, what, this is actually not my toilet. I'm just doing this for somebody. Uh, so, you like my pink and purple towels? Yeah, and that's my eyes. They're my, they're my colors. I'm no, just kidding. <laughs> um, so anyways, here's the old one. Uh, kind of disassembled a little bit. Excuse the mess. Alright. So this is the old fill valve. And the problem the person was having was that they would flush the toilet. And then when um, the water which would normally come out of this tube and hook to this tube and then hook to this pipe here to fill up the bowl and then fill up the tank well the tank water comes out the bottom of uh, the tank water comes out of this spot right here but um, to fill up the bowl it goes down there so the problem they were having is they would flush the toilet and uh the water would leak out of here instead of coming out of here and going into that uh, PVC pipe there down to bowl and it wasn't coming out of here either and then if you turn the water the main water to the toilet which is right uh, right here when you turn that off that's that's off uh, counterclockwise and then you turn it clockwise turn it back on water would come out the fill tube again. So, I figure, you know, these are cheap enough. They're, it was shot. Um, so, I think, I, think, I think this thing was like eight bucks. At Ace Hardware or something. Um, so, what you do, uh, there's, you get two options. You can either spend eight bucks and replace this, which you should. Or if you don't have the box, um, what you can do is there's a lock washer here. Let's pull it out of the way. There's a lock washer here. So what you could do is push that up, release the lock washer from this part. It'll detach from here. And then meanwhile, this this part right here would still be screwed down in the hole down there where my finger is. Um, and you can just reuse it and just, you know, take the new part like this, like take this part and put on the old um, connector here. You can just reuse it. That way you don't have to, um, you know, disassemble your, your water line and all that other stuff. So it could be easier. I mean, it doesn't matter either way. Um, so first things first, what I did in this scenario was I turned off the main water and then there's you know a little screw uh, nut here on the bottom 